Great. So another thing to keep in mind when working with the trachea is that the trachea does come up and have attachments, uh, connective tissue attachments on the cranial base. So the swallowing issues, speaking issues, breathing issues, this area can be, you know, uh, their thyroid cartilage, you have the hyoid bone, and the hyoid, of course, sometimes the swallowing things, uh, swallowing issues can be really helpful to treat that. But we're mostly talking about the trachea today in conjunction with the, the lungs and the thorax. And there's a greater tension, greater fascial line on the uh, left, on her left side. So I'm just going to engage that a little bit. And you can see I'm coming down. This is not muscular. I'm coming down on, to the trachea and this kind of this this fascial line here. And I can feel that pull up into its attachment on the left side of the cranial base here. You okay? Mm -hmm. There we go. So that, that gave us a nice release. The upper part, the more cranial uh, aspect has let go. There is a piece down uh, in the lower cervical. I'm gonna treat that. So I'm more here. And I'm just gonna come around and run that right through that fascial line. There we go. Sometimes people do deep work here muscularly, but I, this is all about the trachea here. There we go. I could add, you can try and differentiate trachea from the um, esophagus. Sometimes I'll ask them to swallow so that I can feel the action and kind of give me a, a, a better um, idea of where I'm at in, in space, if you will, in, in their tissue. There we go. Good. So there's that. There's a little bit of a tension here, so I'm just actually treating that for her. All right. It's good for that.